more swift. Michael McCann, question number 17, Mr Speaker. Madam Secretary. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, decision on UK citizenship are for the UK Government. Any decisions on the retention of UK citizenship by Scottish citizens after independence would be affected by future Scottish Government policy decisions. To date, the current Scottish Government have not set out what their proposed policies would be in these areas. Michael McCann. Mr Speaker, I am very grateful for the Secretary's of, Secretary of State's response, which will also be noted by my constituent, Colin White. Does the Secretary of State wish to take the opportunity to debunk the myth peddled by high-profile SNP supporter Jim McCall only last week when he said that a vote for independence would mean that Scotland would remain a part of the United Kingdom. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very happy to help uh, the honourable gentleman and to debunk that myth and be absolutely clear that a vote for independence is a vote for Scotland which will be outside of the United Kingdom. This, there is a fundamental choice on offer when the uh, referendum comes. It's between staying in the UK or leaving it and forming a new independent Scottish state. That's the legal reality of independence. And as the Prime Minister said in Stirling on Friday, there is simply no challenge we face today where breaking up Britain is the right answer. The United Kingdom is stronger together and better together. The wish, uh, Mr Speaker, we just wish the Prime Minister would come much more often to Scotland because it does increase our support for independence. But she will know that, of course, after the independent Scotland. It will be possible to keep a UK passport. But the real question is why, with a new dynamic, new dynamic, Scotland in charge of its own resources, making its own peaceful contribution world, why anybody would want anything other than a Scottish passport in Scotland? I suggest to the honourable gentleman that he thinks very carefully about what he has said and perhaps look at the Hansard record of what he has said. As I made clear in answer to the honourable gentleman who asked uh, the original question, decisions about UK citizenship rest with the United Kingdom government. But if the Scottish, if the vote on the referendum is for a separatist, separatist vote, then Scotland will become a separate state. It will not be part of the United Kingdom. That is a very simple fact, and I suggest the honourable gentleman recognise. Order. Topical questions, Andrew Bridgen.